is receiving Social Security. They're not going to see that impact in their checks until January um, of the new year. But this is going to help a lot of folks really, truly get through these high inflationary times. As we just heard from Caleb and Brian, 8.2 percent. We are not seeing inflation decline just yet. It is, as Caleb was putting it, sticky high still. Um, and so right now we're seeing a lot of folks, but particularly those Americans that are on a fixed income, really struggling to buy groceries or pay for gas or electricity. So this is definitely going to go. The Secretary of Finance has also said that to apply, residents must provide valid Social Security numbers, Delaware residential mailing addresses, and active identification cards as well. This bill was meant to be passed by lawmakers in April. The money is meant to help offset the cost of living increase in the state as brought by inflation. Residents of Idaho have until the end of the year to apply for the rebate, up to 300 bucks that is, and 600 for joint filers. Not only that, but in order to qualify for the rebate, Idaho people must have been a full-year resident for 2020 and 2021, and father 2020 and 2021 individual income tax credits, as the party could potentially retain an incredibly slim majority after all the results are tallied. According to the sources familiar with the situation, Pelosi has been contacted by several members who have asked her to remain in her role in the new Congress. So even if the party falls short of retaining its current majority, pointing to her success in maintaining a party discipline. Drew Hamill, Pelosi's spokesman, did not have a timeline for any announcements from the lawmaker. Hamill said in a statement, the speaker will make an announcement when she makes an announcement. And to control the House, a party has to secure 218 out of 435 total seats. So according to Insider, as of November 12th, Republicans have won 210 seats, while Democrats have claimed 198 seats. Democrats currently control the House 220 to 212. Republicans last controlled the lower chamber in January when they seated their majority in the Democratic Party after losing seats in 2018 and the midterms. Pelosi led the chamber from... 36 billion dollars. That's how much stimulus money is going out today, which comes out to 25 million payments. IRS says this batch includes supplemental payments for people who got a stimulus check in March based on their 2019 return. Question for you. Have you received your stimulus yet? You are not the only one who has it. If that's your answer, 127 million stimulus payments have already gone out, but millions of Social Security recipients have not yet received theirs. The states have confirmed that uh, there are millions of dollars in uncashed refund checks left over to be claimed. That means some of you may get up to a thousand bucks in stimulus cash. Today, the state treasurer has actually confirmed that the Louisiana Treasury Unclaimed Property Program is in receipt of more than $8 million in uncashed state income tax refunds. So each year, this unclaimed money is going to the people. So for Americans who plan to retire soon, your post-work financial plan might need to look very different from what you may have envisioned. While retirees received the biggest Social Security COLA since 1981, Experts have concerns the boost could potentially hasten the program's insolvency date. So now, the main fund that supports Social Security is projected to run low by 2034. According to the latest trustees report, it could drain them even faster, now thanks to higher benefit payments. The Social Security Old Age and Survivors Insurance Trust Fund has been drying up, partially due to the large drop in birth rates over the last few decades. Less people means less tax revenue to contribute, and now, Mary Johnson is a Social Security and Medicare policy analyst at the Senior Citizens League. She said that high unemployment during economic downturn could cause a significant worsening in the finances of the Social Security Trust Fund. Once the fund's reserves are exhausted, you only receive about 77% of your expected benefits unless Congress steps in. So one option to make up for the shortfall would be to increase taxpayer revenue. Analysts suggest that the government could consider pushing back the minimum age at which you can receive your full retirement and Social Security benefits, while the age is currently 66 or 67, depending on when you were born. Meanwhile, inflation is still rampant and putting a dent in people's retirement funds. In fact, Americans say they'll need a, a million bucks in savings to comfortably retire, which is 20% more than they thought they'd need last year. Their average retirement savings has actually dropped 11% from 2021, folks. That's not a good sign. What is a good sign, though, is that their average retirement savings have dropped 11% from 2021 as well. Credit card debt is surging in its fastest year, over year rate in over 20 years, and it's becoming even more expensive to borrow with recent rate hikes. So despite this, next year's COLA being the biggest in four decades may still not be enough to counter rapid